of your life in Oweri, the Imo State Capital, where Governor Hope Uzadima is presenting the 2023 budget to the State Assembly for approval. In a matter of minutes, we'll listen in and hear what he has planned for the year 2023. I have always emphasized that the new Imo State of our vision is alcohol on freedom, security, and shared prosperity manifested in practical good governance that all can see. On this occasion, I have also assured you that despite the huge infrastructure deficit we inherited, coupled with the paucity of funds and the sorry state of the socioeconomic facilities we met on assumption of office, that we will not be daunted from making spirited efforts to turn things around for the better. You will agree with me that we have walked that talk and we have kept faith with the good people of Imo State. Almost three years down the land the line, even the most chronic cynics or critics will agree that Imo State has witnessed a heart, a breathtaking transformation that has permanently changed both her landscape and fortunes for good. There is no doubt that I have repeatedly promised good governance, promised shared prosperity, equity, justice, and the rule of law, which have been the defining hallmarks of my administration. Even in the face of daunting challenges, including the unrelenting onslaught of contrived banditry, from those who have vowed to make the state ungovernable for me, we have remained tenaciously focused on the goal of delivering the dividend of democracy to our people. If we see from the world-class dualized highways of Owere to Olo, Okigwe, and the ongoing Owere to Umwaiha, and Olumbe Ogarut, which is almost at the final stage of its design. It is clear that we are determined to open up the infrastructure space for an unprecedented economic boom, both in trade, commerce, and tourism for our people. Distinguished honorable members, Mr. Speaker, it is against this background of sustained prosperity-driven policies for our people, which has always seen us make audacious inroads into industrial policy for formulation, digital economy and e-government, and massive wealth creation through unprecedented youth empowerment programs and skill up emo digital agenda that are present the 2023 budget estimate, which I have rightly christened budget of world expansion. This is a step further and the 2022 budget, rightly christened Budget of Wealth Consolidation and Recovery. While in the outgoing 2022 fiscal year, we concentrated on wealth consolidation, part of which saw the recovery of the looted patrimony of Imo people, our fiscal focus next year is to expand the wealth created by our government and touch the lives of, of every Imo household. I believe that 2023 is the year we should expand our wealth creation drive to reach all the nook and crannies of the 27 local government areas in Imo State. This is what defines the 2023 budget estimates. At this juncture, let me now take you through the major achievements we recorded this year which gave an insight into the performance of the 2022 budget. The reconstruction of major roads. The Owero Olu road was fully dualized with street lights powered by solar energy, fully completed and commissioned by His Excellency, the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Mohamed the first phase of reconstruction and expansion of Owero Okigwe Road, which covers Angara section, 
has been completed with solar-powered streetlights and also commissioned. Work is rapidly ongoing on the remaining section of that road, and if all things being equal, will be completed very soon. The construction of Oweri Mbise Umwaha and Olumbe Akokwa Road have been flagged off, and work is ongoing. Why the construction have started on Mbise Umwaha Road? Because of new developments. The Olumbe Akokwa Road is being redesigned. The following urban roads have been constructed and completed to ease movement in the urban centers of Oweri, Olo, and Okiwe. And this includes the construction and rehabilitation of Imo State University Teaching Hospital Road, which is about 2.05 kilometers, the reconstruction and rehabilitation of Akashi Road Oweri, 1.35 kilometers, the construction of Inheshiowa Street and adjoining roads in Oweri, 1.350 kilometers, the construction and rehabilitation of internal roads in Aladema Estate, Lekunwebere Street, Olokoro Street, Umwaha Street, Okaipe Street, Arugo Street, Eboma Street, and Nungwa Street, all in Oweri. The construction of Imo State University Bishop Course Road, 1.2 kilometers. Construction rehabilitation of Thomas Moore Goze Wachuku, JPR Jelu Street, Oweri, 1.450 kilometers. Construction and rehabilitation of the Warehouse Junction, Umezrike Hospital, Emmanuel College Roundabout, with support to a day the Rolls Royce Road Junction and the Emmanuel College layout, 7.2 kilometers. Other urban roads are being reconstructed and rehabilitated in the three senatorial zones and has been provided for in the 2023 budget estimate. The state government, in a bid to upscale and improve power supply to communities, created the Ministry of Power and Rural Electrification to coordinate and formulate policies within the power sector. Rehabilitation of two transformer substations in the state sectorate to ensure regular public power supply has been completed. And light has been restored also to the ministerial blocks to provide conducive working environment. The state will procure new transformers and upgrade the existing ones to ensure that communities have regular electricity supply in the year 2023, working with Eastern Electricity Distribution Company. In the water sector, the government sponsored the baseline assessment of the policies, institutions, and regulations in the state. This will help protect the sustainable urban and rural water supply, sanitation, and hygiene project, so watch. Government recently hosted stakeholders in the water sector within the Southeast Zone under Clean Nigeria Use the Toilet campaign. Other achievements include the training of 83 number youths as facility caretakers to manage the established 83 number solar water schemes that were constructed and rehabilitated by the government. The training of 2,700 youths under the Youth Empowerment Program for Clean Nigerian Project, the training of 27 local government watch coordinators for community-led total sanitation implementation in Imo State, the rehabilitation of Eluama, Olo, Oji, and their water water schemes, reactivation, reactivation of government house water project. In a bid to restore public water supply, replacement of pipe network in Oweri, Government has undertaken and is ongoing now within the municipal area to ensure that the proper water supply is in place. 335 million, 337 million thousand, 355 naira was provided as overhead cost in 2022, representing 2.8 percent of the total budget estimate. The sum of 15 billion, 743 million. 
247,101 naira is increased provided in the budget as consolidated revenue fund charges, CRFC. Summary of the 2023 budget. Mr. Speaker, honorable members of the House, after a careful assessment of the present economic situation in the country and the prevailing macroeconomic indices, it is my pleasure to present to you a total proposed 2023 budget estimate of 447 billion 466 million 276,267 naira. The budget is appropriately christened budget of wealth expansion. What we have put in place, Mr. Speaker, I must make the emphasis. I want to single out two signature projects that are considered priority projects which are there to my heart. Since the establishment of Imo Airport, our people have been denied the opportunity of having enough flights coming to Owere because of their inability to have night flight activities. My government have decided to embark on installing a field lighting system to enable Imo Airport to have day and night flights. On the same occasion, since after the Civil War, it has been the global impression that Imo State is landlocked. But recently, working with the Nigerian Navy, we discovered that if Orash River is dredged, from Orash River to the sea is less than 100 kilometers. And that will open up maritime businesses and the economic activities in Imo State. We have also decided to embark, working with the Nigerian Navy and some private sectors, to open up Orash River to the sea allow maritime activities coming to Imo State. That will further boost and stimulate the economic activities and serve the federal government, the quantum amount of money being spent on pipelines and allow vessels, bigger vessels, come into Imo State and thereby increasing our internally generated revenue and boosting the economic activities, enhancing job creations and employment opportunities in the state. The current revenue. Total recurrent revenue for 2023 budget is 150,489,428 naira, while that of 2022 was 142,855,407,202 naira. This represents 5.1% increase in revenue projection. The recurrent expenditure. Current expenditure is 100 billion, 904 million, 85,427 naira, 73 kobo, as against the sum of 96 billion, 749 million, 349,775 naira in 2022 approved budget. This shows 4.1% increase. The capital expenditure. The capital expenditure in 2023 budget is 373 billion, 562 million, 190,839 naira, compared to the sum of 284 billion, 416 million, 597,902 in the 2022 approved budget, showing 23% increase. Sectorial capital expenditure. The economic sector. The 2022 approved capital project for economic sector was 142 billion, 34 million, 52,933 naira. While the amount for 2023 is 185 billion, 717 million, 754,014 naira, representing 23.5% increase. Social services uh, sector. The 2022 approved capital expenditure for social service sector was 55 billion, 757 million, 500,000. But it was slightly decreased to 35 billion, 566 million, 149,294 naira in 2023 budget, representing 36.2% decrease. General administration service services sector. The 2022 approved capital expenditure for general administration services sector 
was 78 billion, 125 million, 931,053 naira. The provision for 2023 under general administration service sector is 143 billion, 960 million, 28,769 naira representing 45.7% increase. Government transfers. The amount approved for government transfers in 2022 approved capital budget was 8 billion, 499 million, 113,916 naira. The provision for 2023 government transfers is 5 billion, 259 million, 526,000, 824 Naira, representing 38% decrease. Law and justice sector, the sum of 3 billion, 58 million, 731,912 Naira was provided under this sector in 2023. In summary, the 2023 capital expenditure is 373 billion, 562 million, 190,839, representing 78.7% of the total budget size. The 2023 budget came, into, came to a total of 474 billion, 466 million, 276,266 naira, 90 cobble. The 2023 recurrent revenue in comparison with the 2022 approved budget. Revenue head recurrent revenue items in 2023. The proposed budget 2022 approved budget, the percentage increase and decrease are properly outlined and illustrated in a tabulation form. The current expenditure in comparison with the 2022 approved budget also tabulated. The capital receipts in comparison with the 2022 approved budget also tabulated. The summary of 2023 proposed budget size revenue also tabulated. The capital receipts, both internal and external loans, are also tabulated. Conclusion, Mr. Speaker, my esteemed honorable members, I think it is worth emphasizing that this historic occasion of the presentation of the 2023 budget estimates, a people's driven budget, one solid legacy my administration has brought into governance is that my government is government of inclusiveness and accountability. I say so because never in the history of Imo State has any administration gone all out as we have done to ensure that the people are part and parcel of the government and the inputs are made to government budgets according to the needs and the realities of the people. We initiated the quarterly stakeholders meeting, through which we regularly give account of our stewardship to stakeholders. So far, we have held six stakeholders meetings. The seventh is scheduled to hold in a few days' time. I also inaugurated an EDAS Council, which is a standing consultative committee that interfaces regularly with government. The council is made up of EDAS statesmen, religious leaders, business icons, and bureaucrats. We meet regularly to appraise government activities and to offer needful advice. It is also on record that we introduced the people's budget regime, wherein through organized inter interactions with stakeholders at the grassroots, the people are allowed to make inputs into the budget. This way, the budget we've come up with each fiscal year is naturally people's driven budget. In addition, we usually go the extra mile to make the content of the budget and this implementation public by publishing them on the government website, both in English and the Igbo language, languages. This ensures that we are not only accountable to the people, but also transparent as well. Little wonder we have won many cash-backed awards from the World Bank Sponsored States Fiscal Transparency Accountability System, SEFTAS for consistency in accountability and transparent management of our budgetary protocol. Word of mention here, Mr. Speaker and members of the House, also is the fact that we initiated a platform through which every more person can interact directly with the governor through a live phone in radio programs
that involves all the private radio stations in Imo State. During the program, all radio stations are connected online, and people, Imo people anywhere in the world can phone in to ask the governor any questions on censored. With all this, with all these people-driven policies and programs, you will agree with me that we mean what we say and say what we mean. When we say that we have come to serve Imo people in utmost honesty and with the fear of God, we mean business. Mr. Speaker, honorable members of the House, there can be no better opportunity to extend my appreciation to all of you for your undying support and commitment to the ideas of my shared prosperity administration. You have always been there to offer legislative cooperation whenever it is needed. Without any doubt, you have been worthy partners in the faithful implementation of our vision of a prosperous and peaceful Imo state. I want to thank you all immensely, and I remain proud of you all. As you can deduce from the budget estimates which I am laying before you today, my administration is ever committed to the well-being of every Imo person, whether a child, a boy, a girl, a man, or a woman, including the aged and the disabled. We we'll continue to vigorously pursue those policies and projects that will create wealth for the ordinary Imo people, providing an enabling environment for investors and ensuring the security of the lives and property of Imo indigenous and residents. This is the social contract which I entered into with the good people of Imo State. And by the grace of God, I shall keep it with every. You've been watching a live broadcast from Oweri, Nemo State, where Governor Hope Uzadima has been presenting the 2023 budget to the State House of Assembly for approval. While referencing the 2022 budget, tagged Budget of Wealth Consolidation and Recovery, Governor Uzadima says 2023 will be the year to expand the wealth creation drive. Some of the achievements of the 2022 budget include construction, reconstruction, and dualization of several roads boosting rural and urban water supply, training of 83 youths as project facilitators, and many others. 
To achieve more in 2023, the governor presented a budget of over 471 billion naira, which he says is a people's driven budget to the state assembly for approval. Governor Uzodima promised that the implementation of the budget will be transparent, interactive and inclusive. Well, you've been watching the 2023 budget presentation from Oweri Nemo State Capital, where Governor Hope Zodima presented a budget of over 471 billion naira, which he calls a people's driven budget to the State Assembly for approval.